Are you ready to explore the best places to live in Shepherdstown, West Virginia? Today, we're diving into the top seven neighborhoods in this popular Jefferson County town if you want to get the insider scoop on where to focus your home search. We're going to showcase the most popular neighborhoods where homes come up for sale most often. And a bonus at the end that you should be sure to stick around for. Of course, these aren't the only great places to live, just a place to start if you're learning about Shepherdstown for the first time and wondering if this might be a good fit for your next home. Shepherdstown is a cozy town with a population of over 10 10,000 that covers 30 square miles. In town, you've got a lovely historic district with shopping, dining, local grocery stores, and more. There are a number of neighborhoods located in or very close to downtown Shepherdstown, and there are many homes far off the beaten path, either down by the river or in the woods. Whether you're looking to be in the middle of everything or to feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, there are options for everyone here. First stop just outside of downtown is Maddox Farm. This neighborhood offers a mix of townhomes and single family homes that were built between roughly 1992 and 2009. The single family homes sell roughly between 450 and 550,000 at the time of this filming. The townhomes do not come up for sale very often, only one sold last year, and they tend to be in the high 200,000 range. This neighborhood is walking distance to Food Lion, Walgreens, Dairy Queen, and Subway. It has lots of mature trees and it can get a nice place to walk to any of these destinations when it's sunny. It's also right around the corner from the Shepherd University Wellness Center featuring an indoor pool, exercise facilities, and even massages that are open to the public. Next, we're going to hop over to Colonial Hills, which is conveniently located right across from Morgan's Grove Park. Just a little further outside of town, you will find homes built between 2007 all the way up to 2022. You'll also find a mix of the rare townhomes here with single family homes. The townhome prices range between 280,000 up to a little over 300,000. And the single family home prices range between the low 400,000s up to around 550,000. This neighborhood has some great landscaping as well, and you will see many people out walking or playing on a nice day. What you'll find in many of these neighborhoods in Shepherdstown and also in Jefferson County and beyond is that You've got some old historic homes, you've got some ramblers and split levels, and then you've got some newer homes. And even when it comes to the newer homes, they're being built over a period of 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. So really a wide range in builders and styles and upgrades. If you're enjoying our video so far, we would be so grateful if you'd give us a like or a comment to show us you're following along or even subscribe for future updates. And if you're ready to hit the road and explore some different neighborhoods, fill out the form in the comments below and we will send you our comprehensive neighborhood guide for Shepherdstown, complete with addresses so you can do a driving tour and pick your favorites. Now, if you're looking for the golf course lifestyle, you need to check out Crest Creek in Shepherdstown. Prices here are a little higher, ranging in the mid to high 600,000s all the way up to almost 800,000 in 2024. Homes here were built at different times in different styles, but we tend to see more main level living properties here. Homes sold in the last few years ranged between being built in 1994 all the way up to 2013. There are still land lots being sold in this area, so there may be more homes built in the future as well. Crest Creek offers membership for golfing, tennis, and swimming in the summer. They also offer a dining room and player's lounge for meals and socializing. The neighborhood and golf course back right up to the Potomac River, although many of the homes don't quite have views of the river, but they are very close to it. Mecklenburg Heights is a great neighborhood to target if you want to find a single family home with a decent yard for under or right around 300,000. This is a great entry level price point or for downsizing. Just outside of town, this neighborhood features older homes typically built in the 1970s or 80s, though there are newer homes every once in a while. While you have the convenience of town being close by, there's also a lot of space out here so you can have a real sense of privacy and peace. Willow Springs Acres is a small but popular neighborhood where you can find homes built around 2003 to 2004. These often have up to a quarter acre lot. Homes here tend to be slightly larger colonial style and are located a short drive from the town of Shepherdstown on the west side. So an ideal location for anyone commuting further west to Martinsburg or south to Frederick or Clark County and beyond. If you're looking for a home near the river, you will want to keep an eye out for homes in Steamboat Run. This neighborhood runs right along a bend in the Potomac River and is located north of Shepherdstown in a more rural section of the zip code. Home styles here vary wildly between ramblers, colonials, cabins, and even some mid-century modern style cabins. Prices typically range between the 300 to 400 thousands up to the 600 thousands every once in a while. Sales here don't come up often, so you will want to be ready and waiting if this is a neighborhood you want to 
target. I'll also say that there are a number of homes by the river that aren't in any neighborhood at all. So if you're looking for waterside living, we can expand and create a search for you just based on that alone. Last on our list is a new one, Toll House Woods. So new that only a few homes have sold so far and more are in the works. Conveniently located near downtown Shepherdstown, residents enjoy easy access to shopping, dining, and recreational activities. Models include both ranch and two-story style and feature open concept living and smart home technology. Prices start around the 400,000s. At the time of filming, they were still constructing, so you'll see homes that haven't even been moved into yet. Yep. Location-wise, it's close to Colonial Hills in the park that we discussed before. Now onto our bonus neighborhood. While not a neighborhood per se, we have to give an honorable mention to downtown Shepherdstown. Few locations will give you more variety. You'll find historic homes here built between 1776 all the way up to nearly brand new homes built in 2022. There are all kinds of different parts of downtown Shepherdstown. There's a micro neighborhood called Sage Commons, which accounts for those 2022 builds. It's right in front of the popular Shepherdstown Co-op, a colorful arrangement of townhomes with detached garages, a community garden, and more. And now if you do love silence, downtown may not be the best place for you. If you go there, you will frequently hear trains running through, there's church bells, there's sirens from the local emergency department. So just beware, go hang out, see how it affects you and whether or not you like it. And <laughs> Yep, especially during the working hours, we yeah. had to stop our filming several times when we were there recently. Mm -hmm. But some people like those old alarm emergency sounds. Yeah, too. and if you're coming from an even busier city, then it'll probably seem quiet. Very true. There are so many charming neighborhoods in Shepherdstown. Some have legal subdivisions, others are just sections of rural countryside that are well-loved by many. If you're on the fence between Jefferson County, where Shepherdstown is located, or nearby Berkeley or Clark County, up next, you need to watch some of our comparison videos to see which is right for you. See you next time.